Are you serious? Are you serious? What? The, the, the zombie apocalypse in the United Kingdom. The zombie cannibal of the UK. Well, his name is Dale Bollinger, and he's been accused, he's been arrested, of planning to behead a teenage girl and then eat her for sexual pleasure. This is, folks, I'm telling you, demons. I've had people say to me, I just don't really believe in demonic spirits. <laughs> you need to look around. Seriously, folks, there is demonic spirits, and they don't have to always be this graphic and this and this uh, uh, dark and, and, and this uh, these and commit such atrocities. But they are everywhere because the fallen angels that were cast out of heaven after trying to raise a revolt led by Lucifer, a rebellious spirit, cast out, have only done nothing but torture, torment the souls of mankind. You see, there is such a thing as demon infestation. That's when demons set up shop in a house or a building to torment anyone that comes inside. Uh, also, there's what's called demon obsession or demon oppression. That's where demon spirits actually torment people. They don't possess them, but they torment them in their dreams, at night. Uh, demonic spirits of fear and torment and anguish and all types of different demons. And I could go on forever. That's why I wrote this book, Zombie Apocalypse, to help people understand about demon spirits and how they work, not just the zombie apocalypse phenomenon where people eat other people and that kind of thing, which we know is going on and increasing, but all types of demon spirits, uh, you know, the lead spirits and companion spirits and different types of demonic manifestations that, that can also possess people. But then there's what, so there's, there's demon infestation, demon obsession, demon oppression, and demon possession. Alright? There's not as much of that, but there's getting to be more all the time, because people are opening up the portals of their soul and welcoming the devil in. I've received emails uh, just in this last week, about six or seven different emails from people who are being either tormented in by demon spirits, or they have a infestation of demons in their home, or in one case, possible demon possession. I'd have to have more information, but it's not good. And it was uh, because, again, because they were using a Ouija board. It's three people calling on the demons of hell. Now, let me just say this to you right now. This guy named Dale Bollinger, here's what he was doing. And I'll show his, uh, here, here he is. This is who he is. Now, you might say, well, he's just a normal guy. But if you look deep, deep, deep in the darkness of his eyes, where the windows to the soul, something's not right. Well, there's a lot not right with this guy. I call him the zombie cannibal of the UK. Well, the face of a cannibal is the question. Dale Bollinger from Canterbury in the United Kingdom. Um... They are the chilling words of the United Kingdom nurse. He's a nurse. What? He told a teenage girl he met on a dark online chat room called... I don't even want to give you the name of the chat room because I, there might be children that would go there, so I won't. His name is Dale Bollinger. He's 57 years old. He arranged to meet a 14-year-old girl at a station near where he lived in Kent, England. Bollinger, who used the name Meat Market Man and a profile picture of Naomi Campbell, told the girl he would have sex with her and then chop off her head and then eat every part of her body. I mean, this is demonic as it gets. And folks, he didn't just talk this game. He also confessed to have eaten a... Um, it goes. It's a little more explicit. I don't want to go to all of it, but he did admit that he told Bollinger. Bollinger told the girl that cannibalism gave him a sexual kick. He uh, and I won't say. I won't tell you everything he says here, but I will say this: he bragged 
and admitted that he had already eaten a 39-year-old black woman and a 5-year-old child, adding that cooked children's flesh was much more tender than adults. And it goes on. This is a very sick situation. This is a very demonic situation, but unfortunately, this is going on all over the world. Now, the 14-year-old girl that he arranged to meet him, he didn't realize she was a Mexican girl that lived in Germany and had no intentions of meeting him. But the next time, it's a 14-year-old girl who actually shows up thinking this is just a big joke or gives away too much information about herself and the per perpetrator comes to her home and abducts her or one of her brothers or sisters. See what I'm saying? You need to see what your kids are doing online. You need to find out what's going on because you can understand what I'm telling you. Demon predators, demonic spirits, the zombie apocalypse is not just a tagline for some Brad Pitt movie. It's absolutely a demonic spirit roaming the land and it's seeking whom it may devour like a roaring lion going to and fro upon the earth. Now the Bible speaks about how to deal with demon spirits. Uh, Mark chapter 3 verse 11 says, And unclean spirits, when they saw him, speaking of Jesus, they fell down before him and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of God. Jesus Christ has the authority over every demon spirit and principality and power and spirit of wickedness there is. Dr. Lester Sumrall, who probably, I mean, who was trained by Smith Wigglesworth, uh, understood demon spirits. He traveled to 134 countries of the world, preaching revivals and casting out devils. And he ran to a lot of them in some of the different four, uh, third world countries of the world, and not just third world countries. America's full of them as well. Mark chapter 1, verse 23 and 24 will tell us, And there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, that took place while Jesus was there. Also Luke chapter 4, verses 33 through 36. And in the synagogue there was a man which had the spirit of an unclean devil. And he cried out with a loud voice. The devil goes to church, folks. Paul said, when I went to do good, evil was always present. Matthew chapter 12, verse 22. Then was brought unto him, in other words, brought unto Jesus, one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb, and he healed him insomuch that the blind and dumb both spake and saw. That doesn't mean everyone that's blind or every person that can't speak has a demon in them, no. But, but this individual, this person, had this demon, had demons in it, and was also, they were affecting their ability to even receive healing of their eyes and their mouth, or their ability to speak, and probably their hearing. Now, Mark chapter 9, verse 20 and 21 and they brought him unto the and they brought him unto him unto Jesus and when he saw him straightway the spirit tear him tore out of him and he fell on the ground and was wallowing in foaming so when you go watch the movie the exorcist or you watch this new movie that's out right now called deliver us from evil these manifestations are actually absolutely happen and i've seen them when i was in walking and was in the prison in, here in Indiana, uh, and was walking through the criminally insane ward, one of the 88 most criminally insane people in the state of Indiana, and they were like animals, seriously, naked, foaming, frothing, cursing, swearing, digging, climbing the walls. Uh, I've never seen, it was animal, it was, it was beyond my ability to comprehend this could happen to humanity. It's so sad, folks. We need to pray so much. So there are many verse, there are many spirits, there's, there's many things. I mean, think about this. A certain woman which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, her name was Mary Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils. Jesus cast seven out of her. He cast a legion of demons out of the demoniac of Kadera. It goes on and on and on. Everywhere Jesus went, he preached the word, he healed the sick, and he opened the blind eyes, he cured those that were had ailments, and he cast out devils. It's because what this is representing is that the Spirit of the Lord has power over the spirit of darkness. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. I'll be right back 
with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're living in the last days. You can only find my book at my website if you're wondering. Uh, just check it out at paulbegleyprophecy.com. Here's what I really want you to do. Find Jesus Christ as your Savior. Be born again. We're living in the last days.